You mentioned OWASP top 10. Can you explain sort of what that is? In chapter three of my book, I do go over the OWASP API security top 10. It was published in December 2019. I believe that new updates are going to be applied this year as well. That covers the, the gambit of vulnerabilities that affect web APIs. BOLA, broken object level authorization, is at the top of the list because uh, it, it affects many of the APIs that are out there. It's either very difficult to defend against or, or it's just overlooked pretty often. Oh, you know, it could be a, a, a trust issue too. So uh, you're trusting your authenticated users more than you should. And so the check that's missing is that user A can only access user A's data. And a quick check uh, that you can do is to go into an API, capture a lot of the requests, and see which ones pertain to the user account that you have. And then you go in with a second account as user B. You go in and see if you can access user A's data. And at that point, if you are able to, then a BOLA vulnerability would be present. I just want to step back a bit. We're talking mainly about REST APIs. So like I'll do a GET for like a resource and let's say it would be user one, but now I can suddenly get user two or user five's data, is that right? Yeah, that's right. When I'm going in to test uh, for BOLA specifically, I'm looking for three things. One, uh, I'm looking for the requests that would get me uh, the, the user data of another user. So those could be get requests, they often are, but I, I wouldn't limit it to that. You know, there could be a post request, there could be, yeah. um, other query parameters in the GET request that, that specify the resource. Uh, the second thing I'm looking for is how an API provider uniquely identifies resources. So it could be something simple, one, two, three, ABC, um, but it could be much more complex than that. You can see some uh, tokens that are used or, or some other complicated mechanism that has a lot of characters. It could be really long. And just because something simple is in place, just because it is uh, user David one, and that's you know something with your user profile, that doesn't mean yeah. that there's a vulnerability present necessarily. Uh, that just means it's easily identifiable. The third thing that you're looking for is uh, that the provider is vulnerable to this attack. And so not only can I find the resource IDs, I can find the requests that I need to make, and then I can successfully make the request for other users' data.